not under your feet again to be blessed. We ask for the art of understanding, grant unto everyone in Jesus' name. We ask that your word will come expressly, bless every soul, heal every life in the name of Jesus. And after this service, your name alone shall be glorified. Thank you, Father, because you have answered. We ask for wisdom for the preacher this morning. Let your word come out expressly through her in Jesus' precious name. We have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We give God a praise. We we'll thank him for last week, for how far he helped God's servant to teach us on what we need to know as a worker in his vineyard. And as a leader, he taught us so well about so many things we need to put in place. This morning, by God's grace, we'll go back again to what we've been treating for the beginning of this year, which says demonic strategies to rob you of your God's given destiny. We are in part seven this week. And I believe next week we'll take the part eight. We'll dwell a little while on this so that we'll have more understanding of what the devil is using to rob us as Christians. You know, when you don't know uh, something, you will be, uh, uh, how would I call it, the devil can just cajole you. You can be swept up because of ignorance. But when you know something, when you, when you know uh, 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 the way to a place, I think you won't miss your, your, your way. You won't miss your steps. You will know where you're actually going. Okay, I'm going to Oyo. You, you are going to Oyo and you face challenge. So that is the reason why we are showing us all we need to know about being a child of God. What are the things the devil can rob off of and how we can claim back our rights. I pray that Lord will grant unto us understanding this morning in the name of Jesus. So... I'll take us again on that. And our scriptural passage for this morning will be from the book of Luke chapter uh, 18 from verse 1 to verse 8. Luke chapter 18 from verse 1 to verse 8. Luke chapter 18 from verse 1 to 8. And I would like us to read according. It's a long reading. That is the reason why I won't ask us to stand up. But I will read. You will read. It's 8. Uh, verses. So I'll take the first one, you take the second one. Let's do that. I believe it's on the screen now. Okay, let's go one, number one. I will say, and he speak a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. And verse two, please. Okay. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Yes, because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her. Least by her continual coming, she weary me. Verse 6. Verse 7 says, Let's have it. And shall not God avenge him his own, his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though be along with, with them. Okay? And verse 8, let's read together. I tell you that he will avenge, him, avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on heart? Is a question. A question mark is at the back. Is God, the Lord Jesus is asking a question that when the Son of Man comes back, will he find or meet faith here on earth? So we'll start by saying this morning, I believe that this verse is a very deep eye opener. It shows us the conclusion of our Lord Jesus from, it, from this parable about the woman who has been going to him, you know, going to a church. Please avenge me. My enemies are disturbing me. They are doing the... Kept, she kept going. She kept going. She kept going. Until one day the judge got angry and said, ah, now be in but why is she coming every time? If not for anything, but because she's disturbing me. Let me answer her. And that's what will take us today uh, to, to look at something very much important that the devil has been using to rob his own elect, I mean God's elect, he has been using to, to, uh, to cajole us. You know, now that everyone is looking for a way out, everybody is looking for a cleaner pasture, the devil is using that 
to wave us away and robbing us of our inheritance. And what did I call that? I will call it prayer. Let's go deep on prayer. What does it mean? What do we need to know about it? Why is, why is the devil, how does the devil, you know, how is he robbing us of being blessed? You know, look at where we just read. It shows to us that this woman, a widow, has been going every time, going to God, to judge, to a judge. Please help me, vindicate me. Help me to talk to, I mean, to, to, to look for solution. They are cheating me. What is the way forward? How can I come out of this problem? The Bible says she kept going. She kept going. But the man did not answer her until one day when the man got with it and said, please, this woman, even if not for any other thing, but because you are coming every time, I will just need to answer you and leave me alone and go out of my way. And that was what happened. And the Bible said Jesus asked. He knew that this time, this perilous time, the end of the, of the, of the world will still come like this. We are in 2023. will come one day. And we will begin to talk on this. That is he going to find faith? Are people praying like before? Why is the devil robbing us of our inheritance? He said, this day will still come. When I come, am I going to find faith? You know, I, I kept saying it. Anytime who comes around me, I said, see, the uh, Antichrist does not need any announcement. He's around the corner. Don't you notice that something strange is coming up recently? That even you will be at the comfort of your home. You will buy things. They will bring it to your house. I mean, you order for things. You will pay online. It will come to you. Don't you get what is going on? For those of us who have been reading the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, I think we should go back to that scriptural passage and go and check what is actually going on all over the world. You will be where you are without moving an inch. At the tomato, eh? at the onions, at the anything you want to use to cook, anything on fashion, Anything on anything, talk of it. At the comfort of your home, they will bring it to you. And it has got into a stage now. The GT Bank has changed their own system. You don't line up to collect your ATM. There is a machine outside that you just press. Put your fingerprint. It will print out your uh, ATM card. Without you going inside, without you talking to anybody. Jesus, Timbo. <laughs> but the Bible says Jesus asks am I going to find faith definitely prayer is what we call faith let me define what prayer is a practice of communicating with one's God your own God is a living God we have those who worship other things but our God is a living God so prayer is communicating with God your God and I saw another one. He says, a meeting head for, the, for, for expressing your plan, for expressing your purpose. A meeting. So when you are praying, you are actually having a meeting with God. You know, I told us my own style of prayers. My husband used to uh, accuse me of talking to God as if he's somebody very close. When we first got married, he would say, whenever you want to pray, you will talk to God as if Ah. and that was then I think about well, our marriage was about 10 years then and I was asking God one day I said God if it is to get a reward for all my service in the kingdom from 11 years I don't think this is the, what I asked for this is not our bargain he opened his eyes, his eyes he was praying, he looked at me and said are you talking to God? I said yes he's my father have knew him right from when I was 11. So he should answer this query. So prayer is a meeting. You are actually talking to God, your father, your maker, your king, the one who can tell you what will be the next. A meeting head for, for, to express your plan and purpose. Uh, Smith Wiglons. Which one said, prayer must be, be your lifestyle and should not be an emergency button. 
do you get that point? A prayer should not be, it, it should be your lifestyle. Normal one. I was doing something yesterday, I can remember. My son wants to go and sit for an entrance examination yesterday in his school. And uh, I, I asked him to, to go and, you know, go and clean up, freshen up, let's quickly prepare you for the exam. So I started speaking. So after some time, he noticed that, mommy, he didn't ask, mommy, I say yes. Are you not praying again? <laughs> and I laughed. He said, ah, because when I woke up, I noticed that your mouth is just moving. As you are talking to me, after you finish, because it has become my lifestyle. If I'm on bike, eh, maybe mistakenly, I quickly want to get one or two things because of the present situation on ground. I will talk. And the person that is going in front will be looking at the mirror at the back. I will, as I will climb it, I say, angel, where are you? The Bible says he will give his angels charge over me so that I will not dash my foot on stones. Me, Jari, no, me, 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 Lapari, Unshuri, Okadani, Mati, Lapa. And it has, it has been like that. Prayer is, is such, so simple, but very powerful, very effective. And until we understand it, the devil will keep robbing us. Will keep robbing us. Will keep robbing us. Because we don't know. I want to get out of the house, I pray. I will have everything we are doing. I will be driving, but I will, I'm praying. Children, oh yeah, let's pray. Father, we commit our journey to your hands. Go ahead of us today. Every evil. Not because I plan it, it has become lifestyle. Not that when you have problem, you will not begin to press the button. You don't know that at times, what you are not used to will be a little bit strange. Some people say, I don't know what to pray. It's because you have, you, it's strange to you. Even if you don't know what to pray, you speak in tongues. You begin to speak in tongues. And you will see God moving, doing wonders. Let's go to what we have in our book this morning. It says this verse is a very deep eye opener. It shows us the conclusion of our Lord Jesus from the parable about the woman who went to consult a judge for help on how she persistently sought for help from the judge. And on how she did not give up until the church gave her justice. The word of our Lord Jesus in this verse shows that the devil's battle against the prayer life of believers will be so strong to the point that Jesus our Lord wonder if at his future coming, if there will be anyone fan who will still be able to maintain a prayer life like the woman he just spoke about in that parable. He knows that the end will be tough. He knows that everybody will be so ambitious. Everybody will be looking for a way out. I want to be blessed. I want to have more than enough. I want to have riches. When I notice that it's, it has started affecting me, when I begin to do some other, you know, I have so many things I'm doing. In those days, when we come to the office, when we're on full time, I come to the, we may pray for money. We have sections of prayers. Yes, we'll pray and pray. But when I notice that I begin to have some other things that will not allow me, I change my method. And that is one thing that we believers have not gotten to know. Because if we don't know it, the devil knows how to sweep off all what you are laboring over. Why would the devil go all out to attack the prayer of a, of a believer? He knows the power that prayer attracts. He knows that when you call on God, he will stand up. <coughs> he will answer. He knows that that is the, 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 the power point of believers. He knows that when we call on our maker, he answers. And that is the reason why he's fighting us. You know, some of us will look, I believe at you, but I don't know. I will keep saying that I have confidence to say that. Somebody will say, believer, come what you still much more. That doesn't pray as such. And God, God is blessing them. Go and ask. Something is behind somewhere. I don't know whether what I'm saying this morning we understand. The reason is because the devil knows that when we are busy, we don't have time. We have time. He will go and come back and you are still praying. 
the book of James chapter 5 verse 16 to 18 James 5 16 to 18 says confess your thoughts to one another and pray one for another that ye may be healed the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much and verse 17 he said Elias was a man subject to like passion as he as we are and he prayed earnestly that it may not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months and verse 18 says and as he prayed again the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth our fruits the word avail in the dictionary means of great advance advantage Havels means what? Great advantage. It means that the prayer of the righteous man is a great advantage. It provokes the power of God to come down, to come into the situation of man. Great advantage. It provokes the power of God to come down. I'm calling you because I am, I am powerless. When you call on God, you are actually telling him, I don't have the power of my own. So, my mother in faith taught us something. About a few years, it has been a long time. I think it was only that Enola that was with, was as in my hand then. I was nursing Enola then. And she taught us something that she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't, uh, would I say, ask for money for things? Yes. She said she only asks for what she needs. Of recent, I started using that method too. I don't ask for money. I ask for what I need. Lord, so and so thing is needed. Lord, please, can you help me? I need so and I never knew that such a small prayer can do a lot. I call it small, but before God is mighty. It means that the prayer of the righteous man is great. Is a great pre, uh, advantage. It provokes the power of God to come into the situation of man. And this is why the devil is always afraid of a praying believer. And he is out to look for means to kill his or her prayer life. Because the devil is in any situation. Onda badura. Koda, Badura, Okudia Kato, Badura, because his only prayer, when you ask him, the Bible says, Ask and it shall be given. He says, Seek, you shall find. He says, Knock, the door shall be opened unto you. In the Bible, no lower. Do you not know there is a particular scripture that says, Even up till now, you have not asked for anything? Only Moto Meta, Olo Ti Berito, Only Lemaiwa, Olo Ti Berito, Otibi Mamefa, Olo Berito. Definitely, you keep asking for what you want. Understanding of this word will make us know that there is nothing he cannot do. Prayer. Let's look at three things that will happen if you allow your prayer life to die. Three things that will happen to you when you allow your prayer life to die. Don't forget I said prayer must be your lifestyle not your emergency button not until when the child is sick that you start praying not until when things are not working in your business that you start praying prayer it should be your lifestyle three things that will happen if you allow your prayer life to die number one you will lack divine assistance divine assistance you will lack it he said a believer without a prayer life is a believer who lacks what assistance from God you will lack divine assistance because you are not praying open your natural thing Luma mama Shelley yes but when you see on the one that's okay are you getting my point this morning? In your bank, cut on she look on my marriage here. But when you pray, there will be divine assistance. I want to cut on pray for. I mean, I want to cut on to the capacity that he achieve in life. But at the cost of you praying, asking God for help, help will arise. 
book of Acts of, Acts of Apostles, chapter 12, from verse 1 to verse 3. Now, about that time, look at this story. I want you to look at it well. Acts of Apostles, chapter 12, from verse 1 to 3. It says, now, about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to verse certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jew, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then, we are the days of unleavened bread. Look at that story very well. Let's go back again. Now, about that time, Herod stretched forth his hand to verse certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. James, brother of John. And look at the next one. He says, and because he saw that he pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Hmm. But look at what happened. He said, prayer was not of all offered either by James or the church. And help did not arise for him. That was the reason why they killed James. But when you look at the next verse, the Bible says, and the church stood up to pray. Even if they kill James, they must not kill Peter. If you don't call God, God will be looking at you. Say pie. Say rie. Jema webo shen lo. E ya ma fie na ji shishe. E ya ma sare wa ma lagun. Because you didn't involve God in it. God was looking at the old Lord on one issue. But when Tom Mujes, nobody prayed. You say, "One feel it, one she man feel it, none here." But one feel it, one quite a panic. But the next verse, the Bible says, when they took hold of Peter, everybody stood up. Oh, Luwa, Kalaba, ye, 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 them. What better than they pray? If we don't pray, one pray, Tom, Tom, if you Peter say, "Can you imagine how powerful prayer is?" If you call on him, he answers. Prayer was not offered neither by James or the church. And F did not arise. But the church gained experience from James John. I mean, uh, James' death. <laughs> when Peter was arrested, they prayed. And supernatural help arose for him. When they call upon him, their father, Peter must not be killed. God stood up. And he went there. He opened all the doors. And tap Peter, stand up. Tell me. They passed the first, the second, the third gate. And when they came out, Peter now realized, ah, ah, ah. God by himself brought him out. Just because they call upon him. He be taught him pray, no, Loti So imagine, as only they pray for James. We let go some things because we don't know how to pray. The devil robbed us of some goodies. The supernatural help. He robbed us because we cannot pray. We are tired. He robbed us because we cannot pray. And that's the reason why you should never give up while praying. It won't be the final assistance. There is nothing you can do. You, you, Ali Sayere, Shemokwe, even the home believers we are talking about. One man, what do you mean That's another point I want you to know this morning. Ah, Lakwaja is the richest in the world. He's the richest in Nigeria. In Jay, one man, what do you mean? Ola, 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 what even if the devil wants to take them, he will remember the covenant he has with some of his ministers. And that's the reason why in Nigeria, we notice that there are some people they can't just take hold on.
one of great ministers of God in our generation, not in Nigeria here. Went before God and said, God, why are you blessing me? I have so so and so so jet. I have so so and so so things. You've blessed me so much that me and myself, I am afraid of myself. What is going on, Lord? He said, because I had too much. I've seen too much of your mother's face and prayer on the place of altar. And that's one of the things I used to tell mothers. We come for prayers, you are relaxed. You don't want to come. Oh, me. Oh, me. Ah. She didn't matter what call you need the prayer. Thomas, she messed a lamp. He can I won't go call you and fair call you. Call you. She call you. Especially for every first child in every family. And that's the reason why mothers, you must pray. When we come for prayer, come for prayer. You know, some of them, Mama, do that. Mama, ah, he be told more than me, he be told more than me. Gah, koi, koi, she murara to some. My husband will say every time you will. I used to see your mom moving. Show she is so low. Ah, as if we can you run. This is the most important time of my life because I'm not about to talk about Jerry no man yeah. And that's the reason why you pray so that you will not pray. From the beginning of their life, stages in it. You were gone as a mother, as a father. You know the journey of your life. There is a family. I remember in those days. I told my husband. Ah, my husband said, When we were we coming on. Hey. Hey. Prayers. Oh my Lord, do you do what you do? To my shed, to my shed, I shed being your shame proceed. And even in the future. So if you stop praying now, you are actually telling God that tomorrow, me secure. It's a motive, but it's a way. Oh, she shed by. But what of today? If you are not praying today, you are actually telling God that tomorrow, me sure. Pray at all times. Because of divine assistance. And number two, let's look at it. Number three, number second thing that will happen if you stop, if you allow your prayer life to die. Number three. Let me read what is there so that we can bring out the point. A believer without a fervent prayer will be tempted to agree that everything that comes his way or our way is the will of God for his life. If you allow the devil, yes, number two, if you allow the devil to kill your prayer life, you will be tempted to agree that everything that comes your way is the will of God for your life. And that is not. will of God do. It is important you know that the devil will use several methods to try to introduce several wrong things to your life. But if he, but with a strong prayer life, you can refuse them. Imagine the book of Genesis chapter 25 and verse 21. The Bible says, And Isaac prayed for his wife to be pregnant. Should I call that scripture again? Okay. Genesis 25 and verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because he, she was barren. <laughs> and the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, con con conceived. If someone like Isaac hasn't prayed for his wife, he would have died without a child and said that is the will of God. No. I told you, when they don't pray for James, God was looking at them. And he was calm, he was looking at them. Until when they call him and say, God, 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 Peter, 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 
You know, I never, I never catch this before. About four years ago, when an incident happened in our church, and it took one of our, our beloved sister, I never took it so serious until after our home. So after our home, any other person that is pregnant, <laughs> I used to tell my husband, "If you have one more fear, you will see that you might do your birthday me, so that I will not have the birthday." So I told my husband, "I said, me going to go to one." From the from January, Timbati Ripe, ah, what have we all late? What have we still doing? Ah, oh, ni ba sure she waje. My katabaje. My husband will ask question. Why are you praying? If they should call me, we are in the labor room. My husband will be sleeping. I will be praying. Oh, Lua, God's wife. Because we've been in the only women department. They will pass. No matter. So the watchman there should not sleep. I should not sleep. I will begin, especially to pass the Jacob's years. Oh, Lua, I'm going to be a baby. Hi, Yarebo, Shatara. No, till yesterday night and that night, one of us was still in the hospital. Ah, Mama, the BP has not come. Ah, I say it will come down. It will come down. The devil has failed. You will not die. The reason is because if you don't pray, God will say, Hey, yeah, my woman. Because it was late before they called us then. It was around one. As only I knew that it was like that. I won't sleep that night. Jesus, my John, I never knew. But since that time, ah, I say, Father, you must have your way. Even if it's at the, at the, at the last stage, you must arise. God's point of Who we'll pray? You pray. You pray. Pray for what is good. Pray for what is not good. Pray for what is, is about to be good or is not good enough. Oh, no, I draw. The day. The day. Not because you are powerless. Not because you don't know how to, how to do things. Not because you are not a perfect person in your area of focus. But you pray over everything. He will know good or dark. So, if you are not a prayerful person, you will be tempted to agree that everything that is happening in your life, God, oh, for what's it? Not everything that is happening in our life that God put His hand and say is the will, is the will of God. Or more, is the will? Oh, who is the will of God? So you must not know how to keep praying. Let's look at the third one. The third point. A believer without a prayer life will lack the kind of faith for exploits that is generated in the presence of God while praying. It's, that's, that means the third point is that you will lack the kind of faith for exploits that is generated in the presence of God. You will lack the faith. So that means, indirectly, we are actually saying faith. I mean, prayer is faith. Because when you pray, Let me, let it be possible for me to get somebody that will assist me to do this and this and that. I could remember when we, we, we need help. We need serious help. You know, in one of our fields in the business, I begin to pray that, Father, this direction, show me the way. Show me the way, Lord. Lord, help me. Give me the wisdom on what to do. To send my direction. Who will help, help me in this area? Who can? And we prayed and prayed. Nothing happened that moment. Until when the Lord opened and said, ah, chair each side is pushed. Throw the, the net to this side and see whether you will have results. And the results came. When we pray. You, when you are praying, is faith in demonstration. You have not seen that thing coming to pass. But you believe that as you pray, Muti Jua won't see a by. That's prayer for you. I have thrown a, a kind of net toward this direction of the sea. Go and bring for me. You never thought that fishes could gather themselves to that side. I mean, you only, the Lord said to, 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 to Peter and to the disciple, throw your net to this side. And she got it one bit. Faith is you throwing the net. You pray ahead. You pray ahead. 
At every junction of my life, let's help arise. At every junction where I'm stranded, let's help arise. You are throwing your nets. Is faith in action. Faith. Faith is what you have not seen. But it jelly or muti and retabi. Yeah. You throw it. You never see it coming to pass. But on true. On do let go go rich rich yeah. At the get show, at the sandino, at the call account, at the go where they call what one faith is prayer. So it's it 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 will if you don't pray, it will make you lack the kind of faith for exploit that is generated in the presence of God. Why praying? This is the kind of faith for exploit that comes upon us when we spend time with God in prayers. If you read through the Bible very well, you will see that most of the mighty miracles Jesus our Lord did, we are done when he was coming out of his prayer place. When he finished praying, he finished praying, he will come out. And say, ah, people were calling for help. You say, come here, come here. He, may, he will mix his speech with mud. Put it on that person's eye. The eye got open. He has finished praying. You know, some of us will say, we'll see time. We'll see time. Jesus is busy, they will be I want your man, one man to laugh at our city, darling. Me, look, he said, continue. Therefore, now, that's your arrow. Oh, there she's no time as he pray. You know when we are believing God for the fruit of the womb, we we'll pray and pray. When God bless, I, it's, it's a very funny thing in our, in our church in those days. We are praying for children and God will finally now bless them with children. If you now ask, why were you not in church? I have seen several that my children will be shivering like this. We will get to church. As, as this morning, I was driving, one of them were vomiting seriously at the back. Oh, church, when we get to church, they will set to it. And they said, I can't come back. Let's go and lie. Let's go. Let's go. The Bible record, the record shows us that people could not behold the face of Moses when he came down from the presence of God. In the, in the, in, in, in the New Testament, the Bible says, Moses went with the Lord for 40 days and 40 nights. When he came back, people cannot, they can't behold his face. Ah! The hour of God came on him or rub on him that people could not behold his face. Do you normally take time to pray as before? I told you, we were praying one day. Me, nobody lay hand on me to receive the gift of the speaking in tongues. Nobody lay hand on me. Me and my sisters, we gather ourselves, friends in the fellowship. We are about four or five. It is this generation I noticed that we envy ourselves. We speak against ourselves. We don't want to relate with ourselves. We have carcass. Even the people we are making carcass with, we gossip. We backbite. We say things that we're supposed not to do. And that's the reason why there is no miracle among us. But in, in those days, we will be on fasting and prayer. When we finish, heaven can testify. Heaven only can say so. But heaven is a little bit close to me. So he knows about what I'm talking about. We'll go. We have in our house, in my own house, we have this penthouse. What do you call it? Okay, yes, some man facility, yes, fresh here, man, fair, eh? 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 Mushan Mokoni, their king, God bless you, sir. So, if we will gather ourselves, we'll gather ourselves, we'll begin to pray, we'll fast since morning, we'll go to school. Not that, we'll, after the school hour, we'll now gather ourselves. I need Jem Lati, I wrote at your school. We have a gun that's in your sir. We'll gather ourselves, I'll begin to pray. Over nothing, we don't know what we are praying about. 
Akosha ma pray. Lord, let your name be glorified. We'll pray. Let use us for evangelism. We'll pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. After the whole thing, you have prepared rice. Me, I will prepare stew. You will be. We'll gather and say, we'll not sit down. We'll start eating. So one of the days we were praying. In our sitting room, because some of them will come to me. Even I go to the It is now. I started. Re- I remember. Oh, oh, the leadership quality I started from then. You know, it took me time before. At times, I will sit down and now begin to remember. Ah, ah, I never knew that is what God is actually preparing me for. I never knew. It, it has been long. So we now we were in our house that day. We came back from school. We started praying. Back after we did not, we don't know how to speak in tongues. All of us. We were praying. We were praying. We ourselves did not know what happened. The only thing we just discovered that after the prayer, my brother, he was a Catholic. He came and said, Yeah, miss, are you okay? I said, What happened? What nonsense are you people saying? Rabba, shatarabara, you are speaking rubbish. I said, Rubbish. He said, The whole coating was coming up. I just asked them to lock you people inside that city. You know, when you people finish yourself there, we will open the door and see. I said, But we are not dead. And he now said, Hope is not what. It was in the Bible that they said, my brother just came up and said, that is the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let me see, don't mind him. And all of us received the power of God to speak in tongues. So when one one of us did real and stepped back, of recent, I saw the post that she passed on. Ha! I, one, I, behave, I did as if I did not see it on Facebook. I did as I was... I was crying. How will the devil take you? What is going on? The other person called from Shagam. Hello, Mama. What do you see on the Facebook now? What do you see on the Facebook? I smiled. I said, Okay, what happened? What did you see? My junior sister just told me that we lost so and so person. I said, Yes. Generation of today, we backbite. We gather ourselves against what we're supposed not to gather against. And the devil knows how to rob people. Oh, sorry, Wale. Pim, 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 pim. Before anybody knows, she disappeared. Our tati bind the devil. I took now my sister said, We mama, 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 we bind the devil together. We chain the devil together. We receive the gift of the Holy Spirit together. We were together fasting. What could have happened to her? I said, when you leave the presence of God and say, Let me go and negotiate with the devil, the devil knows how to stop. Oh my sorry, Wale. I said, I was calling all of you when I was told that she took so, 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 and so step. You people did not pick up. You didn't come up. He said, oh, I never knew it is this. Ah, ah, she, we've lost her again. We've... I said, yes. We'll keep praying and guide ourselves. Wherever you are in any church, don't gather for any nonsense. Gather for what is good. Pray. Have your own group as we used to do before. Don't stop praying you. This generation, this is the end time. All the things you are seeing coming up, cancer of the clinical cancer. And now I want to even tell us which gender used to have this cancer most. And now, women, we talk too much. We do, we, we, we gather ourselves over what is not. And the devil knows how to roll. Eh, eh, eh. They said the seed of a woman will bruise the head of the serpent. Because we love to pray. The more, the, the more you are talking, you are, you are bringing out the saliva that you're supposed to, to send to the, to, the, to, the, to the devil. That devil, come on, come. Get out of that place. Instead of you using it to talk, pray. Some of us will keep pinging. We see chatting. From morning till night, some family gets scattered because of phone. We get ourselves involved in what is not. At times, I may decide when you say posting, so I will decide not to. Let me go money phone me. Let money here time. Why am I wasting it? Instead of that, let me use it to pray. When I notice that daytime will not pay me, I channel my time to three p.m. I mean three a.m. every morning. Even if I sleep, let, let me be tired for a whole day. That 3 a.m. Must, must not meet me praying. I would laugh. That thing will tap me. It is time. 
as I'm going inside, I've been laying hands. Don't you see me? You are a liar. The, the law begin to arrive. The reason is it's not because I don't want to sleep, but I'm not sleeping because of the future that is ahead of me. Don't sleep when you're supposed to pray. Pray at all times. The Bible says pray without season. Go feed time, see. I was having a fellowship with the women. I was telling them during the combined fellowship. I said, somebody asked, is it for without season, mama? Every time, anywhere we are, I said, yes, yeah, so that you're only alone. You, you will be tired of talking. You know when your husband said, you are used to prayer. Instead of you to talk, that thing will hold that mouth. You will not be able to talk because Come on. The Bible records that people could not behold the face of Moses because he has been in the presence of God for years. I mean for months, for days. Let's look at the demonic methods to kill our prayer life. Let's look at it. You know, we've seen three things that will happen to us if we, if we don't pray again. But let's look at the method the devil is using. In our generation, I've been able to show you one. One of it is you chatting, using your phone, looking at it, uh, uh, with TikTok, that thing, every morning. You, do you know you spend money so much? And some of us, this game, I don't even know how to use this phone for a game. <laughs> I don't know. I've been mean, trying, I will check. When I don't know, I will just leave my phone. You know when you are, you know some of us say, I'm just bored. I'm bored. Bored, John. One of my, my, my daughter make that thing. I'm bored. I'm, because I'm, you know, at times, mommy, when you, when you, are, when you feel like yeah, you just need to, 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 to look at something that will get you. I say, see, the devil is helping you of what you're supposed to do at that time. One of the methods. Let's look at it. It is important you treasure your prayer life so much in such a way that the devil will not be able to rob you of it. Looking at the way they, they went all out after Daniel in the Old Testament, you will, you will see how, how much the devil wants the prayer life of every believer to die. The irony of it today is that the devil will not come today the way he came with a, with a direct attack on Daniel. What he does today is to use tricks such as, number one, he will create an impression in your heart to make you feel too busy for a time to pray. Number one method is that it will make a, it will put create in your heart in the impression that you are too busy, ha, ha, more busy. And by the time we check ourselves, do you know that you are busy? You are busy. You are you are able to press your phone for hours. Is it part of being busy? Second Corinthians two verse eleven. Second Corinthians two eleven says. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We are not ignorant of his schemes. We are not ignorant of his game. We know who the devil is. And if we have it in our heart that the devil is after our prayer life, we will create time. What you should understand is that to conquer the devil in this area, you need to set your priorities. Hold that your prayer life is more important than all the things you have allowed to kill it. Set your priorities right. I don't used to have time. I leave home as early as possible and for me to be able to have enough time with him. Maybe you can, like... I said, in the night, it's not easy for me to do that. I said to pray the, the normal prayers with sleep. But when I want to have one-on-one -on -one relationship, one-on-one -on -one discussion with him, I do have that 3 a.m. And I won't sleep until 5. I'll sleep up. If I'm to resume before 7, I will wake up again and prepare myself. We we'll pray. Not because we have the skills. We pray, not because we have the wisdom. 
We'll pray. Not because we don't have the capacity. We don't know people. No. We pray because we need his assistance. We need God's help. We pray because we know the devil wants to take us, you know, uh, uh, unexpectedly in a way that we may not even look towards that direction. And by the time to mama fima dig hole in you may not be aware of it. Ati diodin di konga. Tell me to mo. Ah! 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 Pupu yi hat smart in isha. Oti, moro kwen 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 kwen. You know, when uh, all these hands, toma yon wo I don't know how to say. They are trying to bring out all those small, small sand in our house. We never take it so serious. Until one day, in our house there, we know my husband say, ah, ah. He now put his hand, he said, Oh, my mama teaching. Well, I said, I'm not a teacher. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a teacher. Without you knowing. Before we now quickly mix cement and fill up that sign. Titi Toma Fik, be konga. One may not be conscious of it. You must not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. When you don't feel like praying, pray, speak in tongues. You don't feel like, you know, sometimes you say, I'm not a teacher. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a teacher. Anyhow, those of us who doesn't have this gift of the tongue speaking, you better request for it. Ask God for it and ask the leaders. By the laying of hands, the Bible says you receive. And if, if such a thing come upon you, start praying. Some people receive it without laying of hands. You pray. When you don't like praying, pray. What do what is going on? Masakata, Makarebo, Kilo de dry season around. There's dry season around. There's dry season around. What is going on? Masakarebo, Yagada, I'm supposed not to be dry. Kilo de financially, Koyakoma, Wakanti, for some time, me in You know, some of us have me in shape business. Ah, maybe that when you're saying Caminos before 10, 11, 12 in the middle, in a day, you don't have one nera enter into your account. There is trouble. And you are working, you are business. Something is wrong, and you are complacent. I'm okay. You pray. Somebody may remember you from any angle. Number two of the devil's method. He will place wrong, wrong people around you. People who will talk against fervency and consistency about prayers. It will place wrong, uh, wrong people around you. People who will talk against fervency and consistency about prayer. And his ultimate goal is to quench your desire for prayers. No, 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 no other thing. One, one, I will not say one satanic. Don't let me use that statement. We'll just come and come and sit in the church. He will now be discussing, discussing. Discussing with our father in the law, he will be discussing with him. We go somewhere, they will be talking and talk, eat from morning till evening. He will eat the afternoon, <laughs> you know. So, one day, I begin to pray. He himself did not know what's cut out of them. Ah, ah. What kind of rubbish uh, uh, relationship is that? I begin to pray, Father, scatter that gathering. What kind of nonsense is this that you will not have time again? I begin to pray. He, will, he may be listening to me because he sent prayer request. I did not answer him. I, be, I use prayer to scatter them. Uh, I know my husband, if he should take pen, he can write. Uh, write. He, now, he will not be discussing. Oh, uh, hey, will you, did you see so, 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 can come and get? They will be discussing on things that doesn't. Uh, I say, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, cause the problem. That's another powerful gifts that God has given women and until we, know, we understand it, it won't work for us you notice something that is wrong yes, the head of the house may not see it but because you are ignorant of the devices of the enemy, he started coming up with it and you are complacent oh, he's the head, he doesn't allow me to talk like that if I say yes, he will say no and you are complacent you are okay with it. You say you are okay. Uh, Shebi is the head of the house. Titi tome, tile mafi wo. Entoma le no no. Le mama kwe satanity wole. 
Iwo to wa nu le o se pray orun atori abi kin ma n pe o pa ti yawo ori ngba mi o le ti wu woju ko ma orun lo ma help ori i pe wo ori o ni o ni o ni kan mi you know at times ori le se wa orun a no ke a tu se wa a do ke a tu mi seyin a do ah begin to shout ori jo you will you will destroy me now because whatsoever ti e di ba ni ko hun ni be ni brain e wa orun ina lo si gbe duro and that's the reason why we may pray me o like you garden yi no this is not what i plan like i used to tell my husband and i said this is not what i saw you are not there if there will be anything that is making it to, not to work scatter those things now because i won't wait i will use prayer to do it if you don't want to take step there are some things i don't tell him i will pray Father, let this thing. I don't want to know how you will scatter it. I just, I don't just like it. And God do her answer. Oni ba she npe be lo nje. E bo to so pe igba to ya. Oni mi o pe mo. Oni sugar owo kan tin ba flash. Because o se mo pe the regular person ni is always calling on me. If you should flash me once, ah, ma pe padani. That is God for you. And that was the statement I said. Smith Wigley's word or something said, "Prayer must be your lifestyle, not your emergency button." Let's quickly rush through because of our time. He says, "I have." I said, "You should not place around you wrong people that will talk against." fervency and consistency. Genesis chapter 3 verse 11 put more points on that and he said who told thee that thou was naked? Genesis 3 11 as thou eating from the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou should not eat from you remember that Genesis? Serpent Ilore was around Eve. The Lord said don't touch don't eat. That one came and said touch it. She only came out genya but only came out for work on he seems he said we should not eat. He said, ah, for work, oh, you will see that it will not happen. <laughs> Taste here. Yeah. You know, you know, it should be, it should be ordinary couple. Gin. He go by by God here now. This small gin, this small, this small, this small. Small direct. Put it in your mouth and see whether it will affect you. Lack of control. You just get in sip. Ah, oh, they do. Ah, could they shock you? What they do there? Own learning. That was what happened to Eve. Eve and Serpent. Touch it. Why are you going to sing? Toast here. Toast here. You will see that nothing will happen. Nothing will come out of it. Like play, like play. Eve did not know when they became naked. The Bible said, and God came and said, ah, Come out now. My friends, come on. Let's have fellowship together. That's the time of prayer together with God. But she was so busy with the, with the, with the, with the servant. The Lord now said, come out. Say, oh God, I cannot come out. Oh, my friend said, I can see that I am naked already. He said, who told you you are naked? Who have you been with? It's a question. Who has been the person coming around you that doesn't allow you to have time to pray? That doesn't allow you to read your Bible any longer? And that is a question to everyone this morning. Who is that person that is talking to you that you don't even have time again? Every other thing you discuss is on how money, 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 money. E wa duro owo to oju ti owo ni gba yaradua That is the highest level the highest level You become a president Kiloku Oju ti owo won gbe machines won gbe gbo ese ani se ani o le o le duro ato wo ati po e gbo e la ma sweep away may it not be our portion Number three, let's look at the three points, the third point, the third method of the devil. He can also make you feel that prayer is not important. By showing you how much you have been able to achieve without a fervent prayer life. He can also, let me say it again, he can also make you feel like prayer is not important. By showing you how much you have been able to achieve without a fervent prayer life. She will come from a little shilling. He will come from a little shilling. He will come from a little shilling. He will come from a little <laughs> he will not make it look to you as if what is the essence of the prayer. You never, the devil will never show you that you've been praying before. 
It is the prayer of those days that help you through. The next level needs prayer again for you to get there. So it's, it makes you feel that prayer is not important any longer. That you've achieved so much without having prayer. If you pray, you man pray. Tell you. Ah, I, I was telling my husband, I said, I don't I don't know. I don't I am telling you. You watch 24-7. Not physical high, but the spiritual high. Your spiritual antenna must always be high. And be, be straight. And number four, he also uses spiritual methods. Like spraying the lukewarm spirit. Whispering messages that will make you feel like shutting, shutting down your prayer too soon. He also uses what spiritual method like spraying the lukewarm spirit, whispering messages that will make you feel like I do not to pray you now. Ah, for how many hours you've been praying? It's okay now. Shut it off. Let's go. Let go down. Go and do. What, what, what was the time? I love you know doing this morning exercise. I go out, can walk like one hour, come down back home before I come to shower. But I discover that. Is affecting my time. You know, the Bible says, exercise, it was the scripture that came back to my mind. Exercise, do what? It says, it helps a little. The physical exercise, do what? Helps a little. But the spiritual one is better than the physical one. And one day, I was reading the book of Acts of Apostles. They are talking about Jesus. And he says, he will not allow his righteous one to see decay. He won't allow him to see decay. And he said, he will not leave my soul in hell or allow the righteous one to see decay. I digest that word. Konijeki anyofere. Kori kalara. Konijeki anyofere. When we say the king, he said, Jesus that they put inside the ground. That means the purpose of exercise is to be fit and not to have any unusual growth. Is that not so? But the scriptural. The Bible says the spiritual one is more, more than the physical one. We do exercise to be fit and not to allow any unusual growth. But the spiritual one do more. It goes deeper than that. So, as you are exercising, create time. Quality time for your time of prayers. <laughs> if you don't pray, you will become a prey. If you don't pray, you will become a raje. Because the devil always wants to take what does not belong to him. He loves coming up and saying, Say, I don't want to figure out Bagani. Subtly, he came and took Adam and Eve from God. If not for the mercy. Oh, death, oh, this. Oh, 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 to sidetrack them. He talked to them in such a way that he wiped away all what was deposited in, on their head. And second, could sing to your bed. Touch it and eat it. You will see that you will know more like God. God is just. And that was how it, it ended. Have time, quality time to pray for prayers. Have quality time to seek God's presence. Ask Him for your daily needs. Shall we bow our heads? Let's talk to Him. According to what we've been taught today. You know, in your quiet time when you are praying, it shows you some of your weak areas. It shows you what of the things you need to put in place. When you are in your place of prayer and you pray and pray, it will tell you so and so person cannot be your friend. It's because we've not been having quiet, you know, quality time in having time to pray. That is the reason why some things come on us suddenly. Shall we tell God this morning, Father, I'm sorry. Restore back my prayer life, Lord. 
Restore it back to me, Lord. Restore it back to me, Lord. The one-on-one -on -one time of prayers, how I was fervent before you, how I used to have time, quality time with my family to pray. You know, some prayers, they are, you know, some family, their time of prayer, they, 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 the family altar has already died in the house because of some set of things. You know, we, take, we took up some job and doesn't allow us to have time to pray any longer. Please tell God, Lord, I'm sorry. Please have mercy on me. I'm sorry. I want to restrain my steps. I want to come back to that, uh, to, to that grace. Give me the grace to go back to my, to, to, to my time of prayer. Lord, ignite in me fire for prayers. Fires for prayers. Fire for prayers. Time, quality time to spend quality times with you, Lord. Lord, please help me. Lord, please help me. Without your help, I am helpless. Without you, Lord, I can do nothing. I need your help, Lord. I need your help, Lord. Yes, you have helped me to this point. I need you more. I need more of your power, more of your presence, more of your grace upon me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. Don't leave me to be stranded, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for we know you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Internal Rock of Ages, but thank you this morning, Lord, because of your word that you have delivered to us. The Bible says men ought to pray and not to faint. We ask for the grace, the energy for prayer. Let it be igniting us in the name of Jesus. Give us grace to go back to our prayer life, to be able to grow in it, Lord. And as we call on you, Father, please answer us speedily in Jesus' name. Thank you for your faithful, for you have answered us in Jesus' precious name. We have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we put our hands together if you are blessed this morning? Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we rise on our feet as we declare today blessed as we go back to our various places, you know, our offices and our, you know, some people go back to work this morning and some to go and clean up what they were unable to finish yesterday. So we we'll thank him. All workers still remain for the second service. We we'll give God the praise. Father, we ask that this new week you will bless us. Go ahead of us, Lord. Bless us in Jesus' name. We ask for wisdom.